Max was born in Mount Vernon, but raised in Yonkers, and that's where we find Fox 5's Briella Tomasetti, live in the heart of a community gathering to pay respects and remember one of their own. Briella. Yeah, Chris, good evening to you. If you remember, fans gathered here last night for a vigil, hoping and praying for some kind of miracle. And today, about 24 hours later, they are now mourning the loss of the born and bred New York rap icon. But let's backtrack for a moment into the life and legacy of DMX. Of course, like you said, he was born in Mount Vernon, and then his journey continued right here in Yonkers. DMX grew up in an apartment on the 11th floor of 80 School Street, and he's walked these streets for decades. He often came back to support his community, be it with donations or even advice to young aspiring rappers. And fans we spoke to tonight say he was a modest man of many talents, and his lyrics made them feel like they could get through anything. Many of them identifying with songs about DMX's childhood, like growing up in the school street projects and his long battle with drug addiction. Now, one person we interviewed says DMX helped to launch his music career and also influenced many other artists here in this neighborhood. Another man we spoke to designed t shirts shirts in the late rapper's honor. Every time he came through here from when I was young till now, motivation. Came through here with bikes, inspirational. Like, just past summer, I got connected with him, went out, had drinks together. Those fans telling us tonight that DMX helped them overcome a lot of challenges and obstacles that they faced while he was battling his own personal demons, and they say they will cherish those memories and those small special moments for a lifetime. For now, we're live in Yonkers, Briella Tomasetti, Fox 5 News. Chris, back inside to you. Yes, they will. Briella, thank you very much.